Hello students, today we will check electric field on the equatorial position of dipole. What is the equatorial position? Suppose I have a dipole. What is the dipole? Equal and opposite charge separated by small distance. I take this distance as L and this is also as L. I need to calculate electric field at the equatorial position. This is the equatorial position of the dipole. And I want to calculate electric field at this line at any point. Suppose I take a point over here which is at a distance of r from the center of dipole. Okay, I repeat, it is at a distance of r from the center of dipole. I need to calculate electric field at this point. So let's do it. The electric field at this point will be actually the vector sum of the electric field with the plus charge q and negative charge minus q. Let us see, what is the electric field due to plus charge q? Yes, a positive charge repels electric field or the electric field is away from positive charge. I name it as E1 after naming this charge as 1 and naming this charge as 2. The electric field due to a negative charge is always what? Towards the charge. I hope you have watched my previous video and learned this concept that the electric field due to a positive charge is away from the charge and that due to a negative charge is always towards the charge. So this is the scenario. You see, I clarify the diagram. This is the scenario. This is E1 and this is E2. Yes. Now what will be the net electric field? Let's find the components of E1 and E2 and then add them if they are in the same direction or subtract them. Let's do it. Let this angle be theta. So this angle also becomes theta as they are alternate angles. So this and this side are equal. This angle will also become theta. And this angle will also become theta as these and this is a corresponding angle. So, the component of E1 is this direction it will be E1 cos theta and that of E2 in this direction it will be E2 cos theta, both in the same direction, so we will add them. The component of E1 in the vertical direction will be E1 sin theta and that of E2 in the vertical direction will be E2 sin theta, so we will subtract them because they are in the opposite direction. Now, it is time to find E1 and E2. E1 is the electric field due to the charge plus Q, so it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by Q, divided by the distance of the charge from the point. Now this distance, we can take it as X, so it is upon X squared. E2 is the electric field of the charge minus Q, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by Q, upon distance of this charge from the point, we also take it as X, because these both are equal, so it is X squared. So this is E1 and this is E2. Hmm. Oh my God, these two are equal. So then, this E1 sine theta and this E2 sine theta must be equal and they will cancel it out. So the net electric field must be in this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction on the equatorial line. It must be equal to E1 cos theta plus E2 cos theta. Why plus? Because they are in the same direction. Now you can see E1 and E2 are having the same value so I can write it as 2 times of E1 cos theta. Yes, I can do that. You can also. So what is the value of cos theta? Let's find. This is angle theta. So cos theta is base, that is L, upon hypotenuse, that is X. That's so simple. Let's put the values and calculate the value. 2 times of E1, that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, multiplied by Q, divided by X squared, multiplied by cos theta, L by X. So I did it as Q multiplied by 2L. See how I'm rearranging the terms. Q multiplied by 2L. 4 pi epsilon naught divided by Q. Now why I rearrange these terms as Q into 2L? Because there is a quantity called dipole moment which is P is equal to Q into 2L. What is 2L? The distance between the two charges and Q is the charge. This quantity P is called dipole moment. I hope you have watched my previous lecture and learned what is a dipole moment. So I can write it as P divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and X Q. What is X? In this triangle, you can work it out, x, l, and this is r, here, x, l, r. So, x is nothing, in fact, it is l squared plus r squared to power half. You can apply the Pythagoras theorem and see x squared is equal to l squared plus r squared. So, this is the value of x, so if I put over here, l, r squared plus l squared to the power half and 3, so it will become 3 by 2. Yes, that's it. This is the electric field at the equatorial position of a dipole at a distance r from the center of dipole. So I am formulating it over here. Electric field at the equatorial position is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by p divided by r squared plus l squared to the power 3 by 2. Yeah, that's it. 
Now there is an extension to this formula as well. What is that? The dipole is generally very, very small. Very, very small. What does that mean? That means that L is much, much less than R. So L will tend to zero in front of R. So you'll get E at the equatorial position when the point is far off the dipole or if the dipole is very, very small as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by P and this L will tend to zero so you'll get R squared to the power 3 by 2 so you'll get R cubed. Yes, this is the electric field. Yes, 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 this is the electric field at the equatorial position due to a dipole. 1 by 4 pi epsilon and not P divided by R cube. Is the expression complete? No, it's not. Why? Because electric field is a vector quantity and you have not signified what is direction over here. You have not identified this direction. So what is the direction of electric field? Yes, it is in this direction. Yes, it is in this direction. Okay. So how will you write this direction as left? Negative x-axis? No. We will generalize this in terms of dipole moment. The direction of dipole moment, which is a vector quantity, is always from negative charge to positive charge. This is the direction of dipole moment P, and what is the direction of electric field? Like this, and this is the dipole moment. So you can see the electric field and dipole moment are in opposite direction. So put a negative sign, put vector sign, and it's complete. Put a negative sign, put vector sign, and it's complete. Thank you.